Hi friends and welcome to Sintita's YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to talk about the zero copy clone feature in Microsoft Fabric and show you how to create a clone of a table in an existing warehouse. So before we jump into the tutorial itself, let's spend a couple of minutes talking about the zero copy clone feature and why it could be a beneficial thing in Microsoft Fabric. So the zero copy clone feature in Fabric offers a capability to create an instant copy of any table without duplicating the actual data. It works by copying the metadata of a table while referencing the original data in one lake. This ensures that the actual data, which is stored as Delta Parquet format in one lake, is not duplicated. And this approach allows the creation of clones that act like entirely new tables without causing extra storage cost or movement of data. Think of one lake truly being the single source of truth for all of your data. We at Cintida have come to call this concept as one lake for one truth. So what are the benefits of using the zero copy clones? Number one is development and testing. One of the main advantages of using table clones is the ability to improve development and testing processes. Now developers can quickly spin up an exact copy of production data without any risk to the integrity or stability of the main data set. For example, a Power BI developer looking to test a new visualization or data transformation can use a clone without fear of corrupting or overloading the primary data set. Number two is consistent reporting. Because clones provide an identical replica of the data, you can generate consistent reports based on cloned tables. This ensures data integrity, especially beneficial when background processing or ETL tasks are running. Number three is data exploration and machine learning modeling. Data scientists and data analysts can use table clones for data exploration, advanced analysis, or machine learning. Again, since clones are separate entities, intensive data processing tasks can be performed on the clone without causing performance bottlenecks on the original data. For example, a data analyst can use a cloned table to experiment with new analytical techniques without affecting uh, the underlying data set. And number four is data recovery. In case of accidental data loss or corruption, the existing clones can be used to recover the data set to its prior state, making sure that you always have access to clean and reliable data. Since the feature is still very new and Microsoft Fabric is in preview, it has the following limitations. Number one, table clones across different warehouses in one workspace are not currently supported. And table clones across different workspaces are also not supported. The tables in a lake house cannot be cloned using T-SQL language. So the tables uh, should live in a warehouse. They cannot be in a lake house. And cloning an entire warehouse or schema is currently not supported. Again, these are current limitations. I'm sure that when Fabric becomes generally available, some of these things will likely change and the feature will improve. That being said, let's go to my screen and see how to create a zero copy clone in a warehouse. So I am here in my Microsoft Fabric workspace and I will start with filtering uh, for a warehouse. So here's my warehouse, demo warehouse. Uh, if you wanna see how I created it, you can go to uh, our previous video where I showed how to create this warehouse using a sample data set. So here I will open my uh, warehouse and then I will drag this window explorer a little bit to my right so I can see better. So these are my six tables uh, sitting in my warehouse right now. I could obviously have more tables. We saw how to import tables into a warehouse in our previous video. So what I will do now, right, I will show you how to create a copy of uh, the sales table and I will start with creating a new SQL query. I could create a new table and just put it in an existing DBO, right, in an existing schema. But first I'm gonna show you how to create a separate schema, right, so in real life, you would want to create a separate schema and put your copies under that schema so you're not interfering with the actual production data, uh, which is, in my case, is in the DBO schema, right? So I will start with typing, I will create a schema, create schema, and I am going to call this DBO1. 
and then I will run the code and this will create a new schema. It is actually processing now and I can see that I created a new schema called DBO1. So then I'm going to continue and I will create a copy of my sales table. I'll start with this simple create table code, um, create table. And that is going to be, first you will type in the name of a schema of your table. So it's going to be DBO1. And the name of my table is going to be clone sales table. And I will add as clone as clone off. And then here I'm going to give the name of the original table and that is DBO sales. So it's a very simple code, really. I'm creating a table. First you give the name of a schema and then the name of a table as clone off. And then you refer whatever the name of a table is that you are making a clone off. So then I'll select this and run the code. And this, within less than two seconds, it's actually going to create a copy of my table. I'm going to go to the tables, and here is my clone sales table. So to make sure that I have all the records from my original table, what I'm going to do, let's go ahead here and let's do, let's do a count of all the rows. So I'm going to do count all from DBO sales. And I'm going to run this code and see how many rows I have. I mean, I created, this is a test data, so I have 10,000 rows. I just wanted to show you that I actually have exactly 10,000 rows. And then what I'm going to do is I will double check if the copy, which I created, also has exactly the same number of rows. So to make sure that my copy is the actual copy of my sales table. And that is called DBO1. And it's, um, the name is clone sales table. And I will run this code. And that's also going to show me 10,000 rows. All right, that was it. We looked at the zero copy clone feature in Microsoft Fabric, and I think this is going to be a big deal. By being able to copy metadata and referencing original data files, this feature offers quick and efficient data duplication. So in simple words, right, Microsoft Fabric zero copy clone feature lets you to make a copy of a table really quickly without using extra space. It's like having a twin of your data without added cost. It's super handy for testing and making reports, even though it's a still new feature and currently has a few limitations. It's a big step forward for uh, people working with data. Thank you for your time. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.